If you've been reading Weekly 50 for any length of time, you've probably seen a photo like this. This is a crocus flower. It's in my front yard, and it's the type of picture that you probably have seen many times. In fact, the first one of these shots that I took on Weekly 50 was in 2013 and that was with my d200 my nikon d200 like the classic the original my d200 and my original 50 millimeter lens and ever since then i just really enjoy taking photos of these yellow flowers they are only they only pop up for like a couple days and so it's really cool you see them coming up and you just know it's like a sign that spring is just around the corner and you had better take some pictures quick because they are not going to stay and even if I've taken photos of them every year, I still enjoy it. And I feel like I always learn something new. I don't necessarily, you know, some years I try something new. Some years I, I don't necessarily try anything new. I just want to get a neat picture. This time I did, I don't know, I didn't, I wouldn't say I tried something new. It just took existing techniques and applied them in a different way. If you go to the blog, so if you're, if you're on YouTube, click the link, go to the blog. And if you're on the blog, you're already there. You can scroll down a little bit and see a behind the scenes shot of my camera on my tripod focused on this flower. And that's something that I haven't typically done. Usually I just do these crocus photos handheld and I take them so that you, you kind of see them receding into the background. But here I took it from a, more of a vertical angle and I really focused just on the tip of those three little prongs sticking up. I don't know what the technical term is, but I really wanted those things to be sharp and in focus. It was a little windy and so that was slightly tricky because even the tiniest movement made the focus shift a little bit. But in the end, I like the difference of this flower. I like that it's the same in a lot of ways in that it's a crocus in my front yard, but it's different too in that it's a different point of view and a different kind of a different overall look. It was fun to take this. And that's often, I keep coming back to that. Like I'll take a photo and I'll say, well, you know, if nothing else, it's fun to take it. And it, it was, and I will probably continue taking these crocus flowers for as long as I'm have a camera in my hands. Some years they might be radically different. Some years not, but that's okay. I still enjoy it.